We purposefully chose lower quality cameras to feel like anyone could have made this video. I wasn't aware that they were using second class equipment. <laughs> that would have maybe affected my attitude. <laughs> Hi, Pearl. You don't have to raise your voice. At the time in 2007, YouTube was reshaping how people were, were sharing stories and representing themselves. We were looking at viral videos and trying to figure out, could there be a, a recipe for this? Is there a way to get in there and do something that would become viral? Charlie bit me. And then we saw Gravel. He has been called a loose cannon and a maverick. Some of these people frighten me. They frighten me. My intent was not so much to become president because I thought that that was more than a long shot. Now, I never heard of this guy before, and the other candidates don't seem to have either. My interest was to try to bring attention to developing direct democracy, which is where the people could make laws by initiative. It seemed like we could team up and do something amazing. And they did. <laughs> they did. They had it all figured out, and I had confidence in them. I was impressed with them as young people committed, and so I didn't uh, understand it. As I was looking at the camera, all I could think of, my God, I must look dumb as all get out. You always think that when the cameras are on, you're going to be saying something, but I just stuck with it. Then they said, Senator, turn around and walk down the path a little bit, pick the rock up and throw it in the water. Now, interestingly enough, they brought these rocks up from Los Angeles, if I recall correctly. Yeah, we had all of our props lined up. We wanted to make a video that looked like maybe Gravel just put a camera on a tripod and was just improvising the way someone might take a selfie. Wow, one of the more unusual presidential ad campaigns begins. The media, they had a mystery on their hands. Why would any presidential candidate produce a video that is this strange? So the normal reaction was, well, we'll contact the senator and find out what the heck he thinks he was doing uh, with this. And of course, that's when it came into the situation where I hadn't given any thought to what I was doing. I'm embarrassed if I have to call them and ask them. Now, what about this other video? And so I just doped it out that this was a metaphor of life. I didn't view it as a political spot at all. Throwing a rock in the water was a metaphor for causing ripples and changes in society and then walking down and disappearing. Isn't that what life's about? Now, that's a metaphor for somebody who's trying to do something significant. Now, that many of the pundits don't understand that, well, is that a surprise to well, you? That's right. <laughs> we don't understand it. But right. At the core of the videos isn't a code to be deciphered but was designed to elicit a certain response. We wanted people to sit up from their couch and ask, what was that? Who is that person? And specifically to go to the website. Now we have a theater of politics. It's just one more way for people to entertain themselves. One more channel to tune into, one more show. While politics has theater as a component of it, our politics shouldn't be theater. 